My name is David Baldwin, and I have several horns for sale. This is a Con 6D. It's an excellent player, but I am not. Therefore, I have asked a college friend and top-notch pro to demo the instrument and give you his thoughts. After he's finished, I'll fill you in on the details. Hi, I'm Brian Brown, and I'm trying out some horns. This is a Con 6D. Yellow brass, obviously, it's um, in pretty good condition. I don't see any dents or dings or scratches to speak of. The valves feel pretty good. This thumb valve is a little bit tricky from an ergonomic standpoint. If you have a big hand, it won't be a problem. I don't have the largest hands in the world, so it's a little bit of a stretch, but I think that can be bent and moved around by a qualified repair person. And it plays pretty well. It's nice and even throughout the register of the instrument. <laughs> And here's a little bit of Mozart 4. And here's some Till Oil and Spiegel just for fun. This Con 6D was made in June of 1987. I know that because of the serial number. It's quite a nice horn all the way around. The valves are quiet and fast, and the compression is excellent. I stripped the lacquer and cleaned the horn thoroughly. I had a top-notch tech remove all the dents. In the process, he removed the lead pipe, the bell tail, and the first branch, and then put it all back together very solidly. Brian Brown mentioned in his portion of this video that the hand position was a bit big for him. He's right. Therefore, I repositioned the pinky ring for a better, more comfortable fit. Is there anything negative about this horn? Well, it has some scarring on the hand guard, but that's purely cosmetic. Also, most people play with a leather hand grip for comfort, in which case the scarring won't be visible. It's a nice instrument. It would be a great horn for a high school or college student. Con 60s are typically not played regularly by professionals, but they can be great candidates for customization in which case they are professional grade instruments. I'm happy to give a virtual or physical viewing of this horn. If you'd like to come by in person, I'll run alcohol through the lead pipe and we'll carefully wipe the horn down with disinfectant. Also, I'll wear a mask and practice social distancing.